What's up, gamers? It's Radzilla here, and we're back with another episode of Marvels and Magnin. And uh, Magnin's gonna walk us through uh, playing his AMX M4 MT54 on Pearl River. So go ahead, Magnin. All right. So um, Pearl River is a pretty good map, besides when it's encounter and obviously I get encounter. Encounter is really bad because a lot of actually like stupid people will usually drive to the cap and start capping out, which can make the game super fast. But I do take the gamble here. I do think North is the initial play that you want to do in your heavy tanks, uh, especially if you're in a pretty fast one like an M4, an E5, an I7, shit like that. It's a pretty good play. And then what you want to essentially do is after you uh, go to North, if you have no damage North or if you start getting stomped in the North, you need to rotate uh, towards the middle using the long road. That's pretty much how you want to play the map. And when I say long road, I mean, you know, you can see it on the map. You just drive the low zigzag and, um, yeah, basically there. And you drive uh, towards the exact position that is, yeah, right there to shoot down the mid. Oh, uh, so the impending mobility changes to the M4 coming this week. What do you uh, think about those? They, uh, I don't know. I, I think it's a good way to nerf it, however, I would have nerfed the gun way more and kept the mobility the same because making a tank slower doesn't really change the fact that it still has, in my opinion, a stupid reload and just way too good uh, gun handling values. Right. But it is, you know, they nerfed the M4, like, see that shot? That's, that, that shot is <laughs> fucking stupid. Should have never hit, but it, it does, which I'll take it. And right here you already say i start rotating because if you check out the map i've got nothing with me yep and there's a mouse and a 60 tp on lit and a t10 and a phase one i cannot 4v1 no matter how good the tank is you cannot 4v1 besides unit 2790 so i i immediately take the road that i was talking about and from here you can get such good shots because even though they saw me running because obviously i was still lit well, they're not going to expect it. Also, you see immediately, as soon as I leave, look who pops up. The T10 was where I was. So, really good uh, rotation right there. Got a really nice shot in the Chieftain P. Pretty easy tank to pen. Especially, in, you know, any tank that has more than 250 pen. And there's an Udas <laughs> sideways to me that committed to the rock. And this guy is essentially dead. There's nothing he can do because... See, the thing that's crazy about the M4... Is that it's got basically the same armor mechanics as an I-7 to where if you're pointing down Your lower play becomes so much harder to find or not an I-7. I'd say almost a Panzer 7 or a VK-72 Right, and this guy had no chance to pen me beside if he you know hit my Coppola's and because I was walking It's you know pretty hard You see again really nice shot on just Chieftain P here and the char uh, managed to Coppola snipe me I think it's pretty bad that he's right there hits it twice, which is incredible but you see, uh, I immediately realized that that if I continue to shoot the Chief P, that was 100% an overcommitment, and you can see like how the game is developing, right? Yeah, it's not so, looking good for the nine zero line. Yeah, exactly. Hello. And as soon as I see how much people are in the nine zero, there you go. There's a free farm, and that position where I'm in is basically impossible to push. And it's impossible to kill them. Like, it's impossible for them to kill me, right? <clears throat> Besides if the Yag pans me, which he definitely can with 420 heat. I, I take a gamble here. Because for some reason, a lot of Yag players don't run heat too often. Yeah. And a Yag is basically a free pan. I can also, really important to uh, mention, with a tank like the M4 or the 780, you can overmatch the roof of the engine deck. And... It's a hard shot, but it can help for fires and stuff like that, which is really cool. Like, oh, yeah, 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 like the, the upper same mechanics underneath the gun. Yeah. yeah, the same mechanics as a 263. And because he's pointing down on me, it's not really a hard pan. You literally just shoot superstructure. 296 pan is good enough to hit the superstructure when it's pointing down. So I do get the kill there. And from there, there is two plays that you could make, uh, if you can pause it. Sure. So... The play that I'm doing is the much better play, but if you f if you were to think that um, the heavies would push down the middle, then you need to rotate to where the Chieftain prototype is. 
to farm. That's pretty much it. So right. instead of going to the left, you go to the right. Yeah, you can resume it now. And like you can see, three shots in the back of the Teton. The score is really close too, which is impressive for a pro river encounter because usually the game's over in like two minutes. Yeah. And <laughs> the thing that I was really expecting was the mouse to start turning uh, towards me when I first shot him. So that's why they didn't go mid because you can see how many shots I get from this position right here. And the way funnier thing is that they cannot climb, they cannot reach me because they fixed the climb. So this, the position that I'm in is basically an uncon uncontest, uh, fuck, <laughs> uncontested high ground. Right. So I've got legit free shots on everything that is in the middle. The Teton is pretty well placed. I do get a nice shot there. You can overmatch the Teton's roof with a 122 pound, uh, 122 caliber gun. And uh, the problem in this situation is the STB. Uh, I was gonna add one thing. The um, since I did change this map, you can mm -hmm. actually get up on this ramp here. I've yep. done it with a like a chieftain or something. So they could contest. It would just be kind of frontally. But you have to use uh where that T ten was. You have to be in the cubby and kind of roll on the, through this way, build up yeah, the speed. And but the thing is, is that you also need someone to push you behind and and pub people play for themselves, which is you know what I do. It's yeah. hundred percent understandable. So. I wasn't expecting anything from that, but it is possible in, you know, any competitive um, setting like Clan Wars or Campaign. It is possible, but we're probably 100% not. And right here, the mouse just panned me. The M4 armor, I kind of hate it because either it works very well, it just gets buttered by everything. You can see right. I have really a lot of block damage. I have 1100. And it's a lot from tier 9's firing AP, so it's pretty expected, but it doesn't really bounce tier 10's too well. Even if you know how to properly uh, angle your lower plate or just rocking or anything like that, it doesn't really work. Pretty hard shot right here on the 60 TP. I don't know if I end up hitting it. I... No, I didn't hit it, that's fine. And see, the the problem with this map is just, is such a gamble, and I do get lucky here because... All the heavies went north instead of all going middle or all going south, so it works out perfectly. This is mm -hmm. exactly how you would want to play this map in a standard battle. In encounter, you can switch things up, but for standard, 100% do what I did. It's gonna work. And one thing that I want to add on top, remember the position where I was uh, firing at the Yag? Yeah, right. That position right is really good, yeah. That position is also really good if they start pushing up uh, the the little road that right, leads to my position. Right, if they push mid on you? Yeah, from mid and from 9 line too. It's mm -hmm. just a really good defensive spot. And when they push in, the TDs are just going to be in H0 can also shoot them. So it's going to make them not push you. They're just, you know, a great bonus from that. Right. All right, well, that will do it for uh, the M4 on Pearl River. Thank you, Magnin, and we'll catch you guys for the next episode. See you.